Hi! Welcome or welcome back if you've never been here before. This is The Essence of Coils. My name is Shanita and I would like to do a review today, sort of a really quick overview of my experience with Gemini Naturals Temporary Hair Color. I bought some of the items over uh, Black Friday. I did a haul and showed that I'd gotten two colors and I have never used hair color before. Um, I had a horrible experience with hair color in cosmetology school years ago and I swore it off color of any sort. But this temporary gel got so many wonderful reviews. I thought I would check it out and thought it would be good for just a quick temporary do if you wanted to change your hair do something different without it being drastic or damaging so I bought these items and I decided to try the pink berry over the last couple of days I did not record this process guys because it was so messy it was so messy and it would have taken forever if I would recorded it but just know that it is a gel the brand is get hued and it is a temporary gel color it comes in a pump this is four ounces and this particular color is called pink berry I'm gonna turn it around so you can see what it is looking like it's sort of a between um, red and you know what it's probably right between red and pink so it says that it defines curls it moisturizes the hair deposits damage free color and it rinses out with one wash and when I read the ingredients I thought well this can't be too bad because it has some of the same ingredients that a lot of our natural hair products have in them so just some of those right off the top are uh, aloe vera juice, glycerin, panthenol, wheat germ oil, avocado oil, castor oil, xanthan gum, silver dehydrogen citrate, citric acid, fragrance oil, and then some preservatives. I thought this was a gel that you could use probably right over a moisturizer. I've seen it used plenty of times on YouTube and so I did it and I'm going to come up close so I can show you in the color uh, pink berry to do a braid out so I hope the lighting is okay and you'll be able to see how the pigment deposited on my hair and it was so hard to tell if you are using too much or not so I kept pumping until I got my wet hair to be the color that I wanted it to uh, be like it would subtle take enough to be cute and not be just bombastic over the top but yet mild enough to still just have a little tint without being overbearing um, I did just a shampoo condition I deep conditioned as always and then I used a leave-in and I chose to use this moisturizer from she sent it I use their royal honey and argan buttercream it's their rich moisturizing hair cream for very dry hair you've probably seen this before it is an amazing moisturizer if you have not seen or heard of she sent it then you need to check them out immediately and if you've been there and you've never checked out this product and you're looking for a good moisturizer, you definitely want to check this out. It felt like silk on my hair. Some of the ingredients in this are water, BTMS, avocado oil, cedar alcohol, marshmallow root, coconut oil, castor oil, raw honey, moringa seed extract, argan oil, and it was so softening and so moisturizing. I thought if this color acted like a gel, then I could not go wrong if I put this over a moisturizer. So I used a bit of the moisturizer and then added the pink berry color. So that is how I got this look. Uh, the braid out came out itself okay. I had a lot of definition early this morning. This is late at the end of the day. My honest thoughts are um, 
it, it's okay. <laughs> it was okay. As you can tell, I'm not just head over heels in love with it. What I did not like about it was my hair feels dry. You know, even with all these amazing, moist, amazing moisturizing ingredients, my hair still feels rough to the touch and usually with this product I would add either a custard or an oil over it. it would be very soft and very very um had a lot of body and this feels drier to me than I know it typically would be I don't know some of those other ingredients in it that are at the bottom is probably what gives it its gel um consistency I didn't recognize like the copolymer and uh, the ingredients like that that we normally see in our eco or our wet line gels. And something in this is just not very moisturizing. Um, it is cute for a few days if you wanted to just change your hair uh, over a few days for a certain style or to get a certain look for a little bit. It is really, really good in that aspect. The pigment came out really well. As you can see, I didn't use a whole lot. Let's just see. This is all I used of the entire four ounce container so I would have quite a few more uses of this if I wanted to use it again. Will I use it again? I will of course because I bought it and I have all of this to use and I also have another uh, golden bronze color that I bought. I can't remember the name of it but there's another color that I bought and so I'm going to use those up. One of the things that I did not like about it to be honest was I had a lot of transfer. That was one of the things that I was most worried about. Is this color going to end up on everything? And a lot of people didn't have that problem. I did and I it could very well be that I used too much. You know how heavy handed I am with products. I tried to let it set for two days before I took it out to make sure it was good and dry. But every time, I don't know if you can see this on my hands. It's nowhere near as bad as it was, but every time I touched my hair, I came away with uh, red hands. When I took this braid out, down, my hands were so red. I thought, oh my gosh, this, this is going to be a complete fail. Um, when I was just kind of fluffing it with my hands throughout the day, I would immediately have to go and wash my hands. So... It does transfer. I have not seen a lot of it on my clothes. I uh, wore dark colors purposefully because I wasn't sure what it was going to do since I did have so much on my hand, but it loves skin. The good part of that is it washes off very easily. Some soap and water and it rinses right off. So I don't think I'm going to have any trouble rinsing it out. And so I just wanted to let you all know how that went and to see what your experiences were. If I used too much or if I didn't let it sit long enough, knowing what I use based on what I've told you, do you have a clue what I've done wrong that may have caused so much transfer? And again, to have it, this does not have a cast on it by any means, not at all. It's just, I mean, it's a gel. I guess it's not supposed to be soft, it being being a gel. But I guess I didn't expect it to just feel dry. You know that drying feeling like you've used a product that just did not give your hair enough moisture. I don't feel like it's a gel on top of a moisturizer. That's what it felt like to me. It felt like a product that I used that just was not moisturizing enough to my hair. So anyway... Um, I'm going to say on a rating from 1 to 10, I would probably give it a, um, maybe a six and a half, seven. My, that was my only complaint. Um, that, well, the transfer is a big deal, but it wasn't bad enough that I had to take off clothes or change or anything like that. And then the the moisturizing effects of it. So I will wear it probably about four days and I will wash it out and we'll continue as usual. Okay guys, thank you so much for sticking around. Let me know what your experience has been with Gemini Naturals or if there's another company out there that you've used for a temporary color. I would love to know about it. Drop those down in the comments. If you've enjoyed this channel, please be sure to subscribe and there will be more reviews and more talks to come. I hope you're having a great day. Bye-bye.